Welcome to Materials and Methods Matter. In this episode, we will explore a drawing technique called Trois Crayon, which is French for three pencils. Trois Crayon is an 18th century drawing technique using three colors of pencils or chalks. The colors are sanguine, black, and white, and it's usually done on a toned or middle value paper. Mid value toned papers could be either a gray, a light blue, a tan, or any other mid-value earth color. The pencils I'll be using in this drawing technique are red chalk, which is a sanguine color, carbon black, which works well with the red chalk, and also white chalk. If you're just starting out, you could even use colored pencils, such as a burnt sienna colored pencil, black, and white. They're great as alternatives for this technique. Kohenor carbon pencils are called silky black and the blocks are stamped with the word lead. Both are available in the Giaconda art set, including the red chalk and also the white chalk. My reference for this demonstration is a life study drawing from one of my sketchbooks. Also for this demonstration, I've chosen a mid-value gray paper. After transferring my image uh, to this paper, I will begin to outline the image with red chalk. Next step in the process is to begin to fill in the middle value areas with the red chalk. Now keep in mind that we are working on a gray paper that gives us one value. We add the red chalk, we then add black carbon over that, and then we will go ahead and add our highlights with the white chalk. So to continue, I will go ahead and uh, fill in my red chalk areas. The next step in the process is to shade in the darkest value areas with a carbon pencil. And for this one I'm using the silky black uh, number two, which is actually the medium value. And we'll work, this works very well with the red chalk, uh, because the red chalk has a little bit of wax in it, and the carbon pencil, as we know, has is is harder than uh, charcoal so it works very well with uh, with the red chalk and will give us the same uh, results in giving us a nice dark area so we'll begin by uh, working in our darkest shadow areas and again it's the darkest shadow areas we already have the red chalk as one one part of the shadow and so we'll begin to uh, add in and just lightly we can always come back and make it darker but just lightly add in the shadow area After we've added that the dark black, we can come back in and adjust our red chalk uh, in areas that need to be a little bit darker. And like I say, the carbon and the red chalk are very compatible, so we can basically darken some of those areas by just going over it. Creating a little more gradation. Areas that are in deeper shadow, of course, maybe need to be darker. Like for instance, the underside of of her torso. 
So we're going to create some variations in, in value. Before I put in my highlights with my white pencil, I want to add some uh, ground, the, the tarse, the whole body, to the surface. So what we need to do is we need to put in some shadow. So I'm going to do that, and what I do is when, because I'm working on this textured paper, um, I want to actually just go in one direction. So we have our edge of the, of the base here, and then I have just the shadow area coming off. So I just move in one direction. In this case, I'm moving horizontal across the page uh, where her elbow touches the area here we end up with shadow moving in this direction this gives us a little gives us some more contrast in between the not going less contrast actually from going from this dark to the gray we have this intermediate value of the uh the, the red chalk in there so i'm just going to go ahead and add in some shadow area um, and of course I have my original drawing to use as a reference so you'll just have to rely on what I have. We can add a little more, a little less. Also I like to put in uh, some background color to separate the, the body from the background, also around the feet uh, where these light areas are. So again what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, in this case, uh, move in a vertical position. Okay, now we're ready for the highlights. And we are going to use the white chalk, which, of course, is will feel much softer than the carbon or the red chalk. This is actually soft almost like a pastel pencil and what I'm going to do is just in areas where I have a strong highlight remember I want to I still have my gray so I just want to emphasize areas that um, for instance a highlight on the hair the edge of the fingers Okay, we have a highlight here, a highlight here, um, around the edge of our buttocks here on the top side. And lightly put these in. Um, I'm using a rough paper, so I tend not to mix the colors, just add the highlight in here and that just about does it so you can make adjustments by erasing or adding more color until your trois crayon drawing is complete to your liking materials and methods matter was inspired by my book making art materials and techniques for today's artist. For more videos on materials and methods matter, as well as lesson plans and other instructional videos, visit phthalo.com.